Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about tab order in Articulate Storyline 360. Tab order is a functionality that can kind of help with accessibility functionality, so screen readers. Now I'm just going to preview this slide here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the tab order is the order in which when you hit the tab key on your keyboard, you're going to see items. So here, the first tab is a, uh, a rectangle that's covering the entire, the entire slide. Now, we might not want the screen reader to pick that up. So as you use the tab key, this is what the screen reader will read. Um, so let's just go through and do a couple tabs and see what's going on. So we've got our welcome prompt. We've got this head icon. We've got um, our text and then we've got our button. So let's close this preview and uh, take a look at the tab order. So to access the tab order from the home tab, you're going to select tab order. Now you'll see here, <clears throat> so it defaults to use default tab order. We're going to select create custom tab order and I'm just gonna select the first one. And so the first tab here is the image which is this this background image so i'm going to delete that because i don't want the screen reader to pick it up now the second tab is the welcome so that's fine by me i'm going to call that using the alternative text slide title welcome or uh, slide header And then we've got uh, the image of a brain. And I think I don't want that to show up until right before the let's begin. So what I'm gonna do with my tab order, sorry, my monitor is quite small this morning, is I'm gonna bring it down above the button, let's begin. And then I'm going to put the alternative text as image of a uh, head with cogs for Brain. I believe that's what it, yeah, cogs for the brain. Now, what the alt text is, it's just a description of what is going on. So when the user tabs over, the screen reader will read that description. So then we've got our line. I'm just going to take that out because it's more of a design function. Then we've got our text box. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to save this for a second. I'm going to copy my text verbatim and I'm going to go back into tab order and I'm going to paste that so that when they tab over this item here it just reads the entire text. And then for our last item which is this let's begin I'm going to put button click to begin the lesson and then I'm going to save. So that is our new tab order. So when the screen reader goes through, they're going to get the alt text that we had programmed in for all of that custom tab order. And it's going to make sense logically from like from a design perspective. You've remo removed all of the design elements like that picture background and the line under welcome. Um, but you've left in all of the relevant information and then you reordered it into a logical sequence for the screen reader.